Yes, good evening viewers, those who are watching us from within the country and those who are in the diaspora. We are glad you have made NTV your number one station. And of course, People's Parliament, your favorite program. It is the only platform that is given to Ugandans to voice out issues that affect their everyday life. We are in Uteleja district and this parliament is chaired by none other than your speaker, Agnes Nandoto. It is yet another Saturday where we come here to discuss issues that affect Ugandans. And tonight we are discussing yet a very important issue that does not only affect Uteleja district but affect the entire country, probably the entire Africa, and that is teenage pregnancies. We want to know why teenage pregnancies has been persistent in the Uteleja district and we have the district leaders here with our partner Buzz to tell us how big the problem is. Honorable members, you are welcome to NTV People's Parliament. We are told the Buteleja is leading in teenage pregnancies and we want to find out from you, is it true or not? But before I get to the ball rolling, uh, may I get uh, our partner from Perth to tell us the statistics, how big it is in the Buteleja district, Honorable Member. You have the platform. Thank you very much, right Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members of the People's Parliament. My name is Moses Dombo. I'm the chief of party of the USAID Advocacy for Better Health Project. I'm also told you're the son of the soil. I am a son of the soil, and I want to put a disclaimer. As a son of the soil, I am going to speak because there is pain in my heart about my land. Mm. Honorable Speaker, not long ago, I was seated in the Serena Hotel in Kampala, and Butaleja was cited as having the youngest grandmother in the world. And some people rejoiced. It made me cry. How old is the grandmother? 26 years. And she's a grandmother. It broke my heart. The question in my heart was, do we have leaders? What are they doing about this? But I know we have great leaders. And I said, what are they doing about this? And then somebody told me, that when men are arrested and they are taken to the police, the police finds ways of putting things like assault, things like you know, domestic challenges, and the people are left off the hook. And when children go to the hospital, the health workers have their own language, and sometimes the drugs are not there. Somebody said to me, and yet drugs are sold and smuggled out of the health facilities. It broke my heart. And I said, can we have an opportunity as the people of Butaleja to talk about this? The last thing somebody told me, and this broke my heart, there's a girl, I think she was in a relationship with some boy, and the family caught them, and the girl is 16. And she was cut, cut, cut. The girl was bleeding. They took her. Because she had gotten pregnant? Because she was in a relationship. And I think she was in a relationship maybe with a boy they didn't want. I don't know. I don't have the details. But I'm sure the district leaders are here. They will tell us. Because they know this. These are facts. And they took this child to the police. They took this case to the police. And the police wrote assault. And they told the people, negotiate behind there. <laughs> so these are things that break my heart. Two things are combining. Actually three. Number one, child pregnancies. These are children. You men, men you, you men looking at me. How can you be making your children pregnant? These are little children. Or when they get pregnant and you watch and you don't talk about it. And some of you parents are actually getting money. They give you a goat and you keep quiet. And then, too, domestic violence. Often the men beat the women because they are choosing the men, the women, of supporting this. And then, corruption. Shall we call it even corruption? The word corruption for me has lost meaning 
Because people talk about you like this part of how are you. But if they take a case like this to the police, I am really, really glad. In front of me is sitting the Mayinja himself <laughs> to help me explain. When people say about these things about the police, what are they really saying? What does the police have to say about these things? And I'm a member of parliament. Other people have said the laws are so weak that they take the criminals to court and they are released because of the law. I'm glad the member of parliament is here. I'm glad the chairman himself is here. Yes. For me, that's the pain in my heart. Thank what you. can we do? Domestic violence, child pregnancies, child marriages, and then that connivence. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I think you have heard Buteleja having the youngest grandmother in the entire world. A child of 26 years becoming pregnant. She was not able to be here because of uh, different problems. But we can show you the pictures of the mother and the child. Now, Chairman, how big is the problem in your district? Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and members of this People's Parliament. You are welcome to Butaleja. First of all, as a district chairperson, I want to register the district of Butaleja's appreciation. On behalf of the district council and its citizens, I want to appreciate the, the funders of this program. We have been seeing NTV People's Parliament from far, but now I'm happy. Now it is in Uteleja. I want people of Uteleja <laughs> to clap to appreciate. <laughs> and we shall keep coming back. Please come and uh, it's wonderful. To me, I call this an opportunity uh, brought right at our door. And you have named him son of the soil. I will say he's our son. Moses, thank you for uh, not only doing service up there, but thank you for coming work with us here. Please come again. Come many more times. Thank you very much. Yes, the issue of teenage pregnancy is a big problem. Is a big problem. The issue of girl child dropout. When you look at the statistics of this district, last academic year, a total of about 235 children dropped out of school. Because of teenage pregnancies? Uh, not all of them were pregnant, but we found ourselves with this problem, and it is true that Butaleja has made a record of having the youngest grandmother. This means that this unfortunate Butaleja daughter uh, got pregnant when he was very young, and I think also her daughter also delivered or conceived when he was young. And I think the problem has continued. It's, it's a very serious problem. I don't want to hide, and I want to appreciate that uh, People's Parliament, thank you for coming to expose this problem. And whoever is watching us, I want to appreciate that I don't want to deny this is a serious problem. But what have you done as leaders? To as, as leaders, one, we are talking about it. It's one thing to have a problem, and you don't appreciate and expose it. I think the mere fact that we can appreciate the whole world to watch us means as leaders, we know this is a menace, we want to expose it and appeal to whoever can support us to come. Of course, one of the problems has been the poverty levels. When you look at the success of Uganda, East, which is of course Butaleja is in the Eastern, Eastern and Northern, we are among the unfortunate <coughs> regions that we are the poorest. And I think when you look at, when you talk and interact with some of these girls, uh, a study has been done in one of the sub-counties, actually the sub-county where this unfortunate uh, young woman comes from, Mazmasa. A study has just been done and uh, they are working on the report. Uh, I don't want to talk about something which is not yet which is premature, but one of the things we are doing as leaders uh, with the, uh, a few of our partners was to find out what makes these girls drop out of school? What makes these girls to be deceived by the younger men and also mature men? 
as Moses said, you men looking at us. <laughs> is um, uh, the attribute, one of the causes is poverty. These young women. So they, they, the they, they, this much women men take advantage of the take poor Take advantage. Family. A few of our people. So, you men of Buteleja, yes. why don't you come for mature women like some of us who are ready? <laughs> <laughs> why do you go for teenagers? <laughs> go ahead, Oda Rovimba. <laughs> so, I, I think the, the, the reason, uh, Madam Speaker, is that for you, you can uh, out reason the big men. The one I think the young ones they can deceive and convince on something okay. small, small. <laughs> Uh, the other one is, of course, the attitude. Uh, of course, historically, our people here used to think that it's better to invest in a, a, in a boy than invest. But when you come and they see leaders like a woman MP, like you, Madam Speaker, every handling these people's parliament, I think it is one lesson that our people learn from. Okay. That even investment in the girls. So you find that in, in the past, uh, customarily, our people used to think that you'd rather invest in a boy than a girl. And I think that is something which we are now rubbing away. Okay. We're educating our people. But what have we done? The question was what we leaders are doing. One of it is that we, we are advocating for coming to support. When you look at the government funding, the member of parliament is here, and you people are here. There is limited funding in the social sector uh, of the district, even okay. the country. Okay. There is a limited funding. We need to educate our people. We need to have money to mobilize. We need to go to the villages to move. So funding in the social sector is limited. Mm -hmm. However, we as district leaders, what we are doing is we have come up with proposals. We are marketing. We are talking to development partners. I've been engaging a number of development partners to come to our aid as far as investing in this uh, area is concerned. The other one is that uh, there is still limited funding to the girl child. Okay. In school. Yes. Now, the modern thinking is that in, in an unorganized school, we should have some private rooms where the girls can have a changeover, where, where they can be comfortable. There must be running water. There must be at least a water source, clean water, mm -hmm. to help this young woman in case she has started her menstrual <coughs> period. All that is lacking. Okay. I think that's a, a, big, a big challenge. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. I think you have had... You have heard from the political head of the district very, very many challenges that cause teenage pregnancies in the district, but we still, there are many challenges, like we are told the laws are weak, that we cannot even get the culprits and take them to prison, and even if we get them to prison, there is corruption. We have the honorable member of parliament here, the woman, the woman district. Uh, thank you, right honorable speaker. My name is Mogeni Mili. I'm the woman member of parliament of this district. What we have gone through as a district is too much for us to hold. And I want to thank Mr. Dombo, because we have been working with him uh, when it comes to nutrition on the Forum of Nutrition in Parliament. And we have been speaking about these issues. The biggest part we have done as leaders in this district is advocacy. We advocate for girls to stay in school and complete school. It is a big challenge in that we have had uh, the, the parents not taking up their responsibility. You find that a family which has a mother who dropped out of school while in P5, even the children will follow suit. Because even the mother will keep on telling the children, may I give birth when I was 12 years? Very proudly like yeah, that. Proud of and it. she thinks that is pride. Yeah. Uh, the mentorship is not there in the families. You find that even the partner of uh, our houses is also another big challenge. You know, since we don't have enough land in Butaleja, we have introduced Mizigo single room in the villages, which was not there before. Some of us grew up in well-built houses, well-built homes, you may believe me. But you find that what separates a child from the father and the mother is a curtain. What do you expect that girl to do at 12 years? So at times, the mentorship is not there at all. The children copy from their mothers. So and they, the second, they want to practice what the parents What are they hear and what they see. <laughs> and uh, we also don't have uh, the culture of exposure. Exposure. You find that somebody is born in Butaleja, studies in Butaleja, gets married in Butaleja, and dies in Butaleja. Without even crossing to Jinja. Mm. You say, when we have those issues, you don't, you don't know how other children reason in, some, in other schools. In fact, I called NTV yesterday and I requested you that 
at least let have some of the girls from the secondary schools around. Because when we speak like this, we are speaking to ourselves. We are not preaching to those who are not yet converted. We have left out those who are affected by this problem. At least if we're speaking to the students themselves, they would tell us exactly what happened. They are now them. listening. The other thing is copying cultures which are not ours. You know the things of social media, TV, exposing naked people on TV, women, if a, man, a woman is beaten and undressed, you know, that is a fun to some media houses. And yet I would think that we would protect our culture, protect the, the rights of a woman, just by, you know, not exposing her. Okay. Even the dress code of our girls these days, it is really alarming. Okay. At one point I was in a, a workshop and I was addressing girls. And one of the girls who was crying before us as members of parliament saying, you know, we are suffering. And our members are not helping us. Men are raping us. She was dressed and her boobs were outside. Oh. They were <laughs> now, in a mini skirt and her thighs were out. Mm. Now I was asking her. Why can't somebody rape you? Just imagine. <laughs> eh? Just imagine you're seated on a border border dressed like that. Mm. This man also has yeah, blood. Yeah, but would just ride up to exactly. his home. Exactly. Hey. <laughs> okay, whatever I would give you another opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> this, this is very interesting. You teenager girls also, as the honorable members said, learn how to dress appropriately. You have had the problems coming from Uteleja. The reason is why these girls get pregnant at an early age. Let's go for a short break, and when we come back. There is a lot to talk about. Yes, welcome back. You are still watching your favorite program, NTV People's Parliament, the only platform that gives you opportunity to speak about issues that affect your everyday life. And we are in Buteleja district. Speaking about teenager pregnancy, that the people of Buteleja say it's a big problem. Now I want to hear from the mothers and the fathers, most especially the perpetrators of this problem. Who are the fathers? Yes, you have to mean honorable member. Uh, honorable speaker, uh, honorable members of people's parliament. This has come about the lack of a cultural institution. But we are told the people who do this are you men who have the money, the big men who have the money. Yeah, but still it is an indiscipline. I was coming up why I call it indiscipline. Uh, one, the person impregnating this child is indisciplined. Then also he's teaching this child indiscipline because the child is not ready for that practice. Uh, Bunyole has lacked a cultural institution. You remember that when the colonial leaders came here, they worked with the cultural institutions. When they reached Uganda, there was Kabaka, and surely a cultural institution was responsible to instill discipline, uh, was also responsible to teach these young children how to behave uh, amongst the mature people, uh, and where exactly they had to stay when other people uh, had also to stay uh, in uh, another place. So here lacking a cultural institution has caused the problem because now we are not instilling discipline in our children. Okay. And also it's not uh, providing uh, uh, advocacy for reasons that uh, if we had a cultural institution would pattern with the, these organizations here and would really... So in the uh, previous, you had a cultural institution? Uh, previously we had, but when they were cut off, uh, we have not revived, and we are on the way to revive it. So you, so you better work on that. Yes. Thank you. You'll get another opportunity, yes? Thank you. Honorable Speaker of People's Parliament, I'm Honorable Bodagu, representing you in the Buta Ledger. Parents, are, they have ignored, they have ignored their responsibility. You find a young girl is even lacking even one thousand in her pocket, or however much when she comes back to school. You find that these parents separate themselves from these girls. And such that when these girls get now, these big men of border border and others, they get a chance to these girls. So they end up getting that chance because the girl is lacking even to get a sweet, even to get a chapat. So this young this big man will get that chance. 
Because for him, he has now that money. You find out they end up pregnanting the other young girl. So parents, I'm just begging, let us take up, take up back our responsibility such that we can reduce on this issue of teenage pregnancy, countrywide. Okay. Then another issue why we are finding that so many girls are getting involved in this sexual action and they end up getting pregnant. These movies, honorable member, get serious of watching these movies. Let us put serious activities which can make these younger men and young girls at least be active, like sports. Because you find a young girl comes back to school and they start watching this Balkavadi, what on, on, on these other TVs. So <laughs> they are so spoiling these young ones. So after them watching those love movies, they want to practice what they have been watching on these movies. So and major, they spread around with Leja. Exactly, not even only with Leja, but countrywide. Mm. So we are looking at that. Parents, let us make these girls, these boys, they go back to active activities like sports. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Please, you have the platform, Honorable Member. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. The custom of the people of this part of the country is that they look at the boy child as superior to the girl child. It is no longer. We are now in a modern world, you people of Uteleja. Yes. Haven't you seen me the Speaker of People's Parliament here? If my yes. father did not take me to school, would I be here? So we should abandon that culture. Yes, M Madam Speaker, they say that customers die hard. <laughs> and uh, these are customs that uh, are still persisting, although we are trying our level best as leaders to try to rub out that kind of thinking. Madam Speaker, I would like to also point out that when a girl is, bo uh, when a girl is born in, the, in Butaleja, they look at her, her as a source of wealth. Because at the end of the day, she's going to fetch them bride price. So you find that... Uh, they look at the girl child as soon as possible to bring wealth into the family. The second point, Madam Speaker, I would like to emphasize is a lack of local le legislation. Uh, we do not have ordinances at, as a district which pro prohibit uh, child marriages. Also, at the lower local government, we do not have bylaws that could prohibit people practicing child marriages. So we have tried as a district to formulate a bylaw against bride price, for example. That is a good one. And it went through the district council after very wide, cons wide consultations with assistance with our implementing partner, Mifumi, and the district council passed that ordinance. Yeah. However, Madam Speaker, I would like to point out that the district council is not the final body of passing and approving a legislation. It has to go to the Auditor General's office via the Minister of Local Government, and when that ordinance went there, Madam Speaker, we have never seen it back. Uh, secondly, we have also tried to formulate uh, a bylaw against child marriages at lo lower local governments, but uh, it is still in the formative stages. Of course, when it comes to the District Council, we shall also stamp it and make sure that we have a law at the lower local government which prohibits child marriages. Thank you, Mr. What Mr. are the punishments? Point of, point of inquiry, Madam what are the punishments, first of all, before you inquire? What are the punishments in that ordinance? Uh, the ordinance spells out to punishments like uh, uh, ostracizing the, 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 the victim family, uh, making sure that uh, the child gets back to school, and making sure that we also establish rewards for good performing girls who can complete school. So those are some of the... What is the punishment for the perpetrators? Uh, of course, we now hand them over to the, 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 the police. All right. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Point of inquiry. The district speaker is lamenting about lack of ordinances. But he's the speaker. Anyway, he ended on a good note of saying at least they have tried to pass one. But point of inquiry, have you followed up with the one you sent to Kampala? At the you, are see, you are saying you are waiting for it to come back. Mm -hmm. In Uganda, are you really sure it will come back if you don't follow up? <laughs> 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 have you followed it up? Uh, let me promise that we shall follow up. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So you were sitting waiting for them to bring. Yes. You better follow up. Okay, thank you, my counterpart. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you have the opportunity. Um, by the name is Barbara Wagwa. These parents involve these children in businesses, and the, they also go there in late hours, selling tomatoes, selling moonfish, and others. So, a, a girl child can sell starting from either 7 p.m. up to up to around 11. And you have already exposed this girl. Yes, too. obviously. Two minutes, honorable member. I just want to talk only two things. One, which Mr. Dombo talked about, of a girl who is studying at St. Mary's Senior Secondary School in the Butaleja. Just one week ago, he was being cut, cut, the whole body, even the private part was also cut. By the parents. By the parent and the one who is alleging to be his colleague or co-wife. Uh, and this happened during that time. Was uh, she cut by the parents or by the co-wife? No, the co-wife the plus, so co plus his mother-in-law, the one who should be the mother-in-law. So uh. they connived together. So this girl was cut the whole body. So police was in charge because I think they, they took that initiative of, of getting that girl, the, uh, the girl made the statement. After the girl made the statement, she was put on treatment. Mm. So uh, uh, maybe I will, I will request Madame Ubet, he will add on because we are following with her that issue at police because me, I went there and talked to the OC police of Kachonga, so we felt so bad. Uh, How far is no that case? We have the police here. How far is that case? Thank you, Madam Speaker. That case is still under investigation, mm. and I promise we are going to handle the matter. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, yes, Madam, they, they have to investigate. Go ahead. Madam Speaker. Madam yes. Speaker. Madam Some, Speaker. Thank you so much for that. And we are, we are saying. Excuse me, Honorable Member. Somebody is giving yeah. us information. Madam Speaker, my name is Betty Nesihwe. I'm the program coordinator, African Women Service Trust. Uh, we work on fighting gender-based violence. And when this case came into our office, we took it up. And like rightly, the DPC is saying, yes, it is still under investigation. But there is already a compromise because these people who are involved are related. So there is a way they feel like they needed to discuss these issues outside the police and for me when I moved to the police post with her, we demanded that this case comes to court and that is where we're expecting it. So we really thank this audience that maybe something will be done because the one I'm seeing, DPC is showing ignorance. The case has not yet reached his docket. Uh, almost two weeks. When the investigation are still going on, <laughs> when will that be the investigation? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think uh, <laughs> you have seen the controversy. They want to negotiate. There is a crime. There are people who want to negotiate. There are people who want this case to go up. Let's go for a short break, and when we come back, we shall hear more from the police administration. <laughs> Yes, welcome back. You are still watching NTV People's Parliament sitting here in Uteleja discussing teenager pregnancy. Very controversial indeed. The cases go to police. People, some people want to negotiate. So, police officer, you said this case is still under investigation. <laughs> but to, uh, there is information that there is negotiation. The negotiation is going on behind the closed doors. Thank you, Madam Speaker. First day, okay. uh, to be frank to you, mm. Butadeja is the way it is just because of the ignorance from the parents. I'm using the bad word ignorance. But the truth is, my chairman ROC5 is my witness. People believe in the chairman ROC5 than what? <laughs> Police. <laughs> huh? No. Listen to my point, you don't clap hands. They know that it was the chairman, they will sit down, 
negotiate, after negotiating, they go back. Even when you arrest, they will tell you that we sat as the community and the matter was what? But the law is the law. We come in to explain. They are counting two weeks because they are adding on the days they have been in the families doing what? <laughs> Negotiating. And Tell when you we are aware about this? I have I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that he's aware of this serious matter, but what <laughs> has been happening? Okay. I'm four months in the district and we are showing cause of change. Mm. At least to move from reporting to the ROC and chairman to what? To police. We are telling people to come to, the, to, to show them that there is even a concerned citizen. Whereby these people didn't know that a concerned citizen can report a matter to police when the parents had neglected to do what? Okay. To report. So your hands are also tied, tied because these people want negotiation. That is the Thank truth. Thank you, Afandi. Thank you for that information. Yes, Honorable <laughs> Member. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Right Honourable Speaker. Uh, the information I would like to give this August House is this girl who was impregnated by the said councillor was from my district. She's called Adikini. So when I brought up this matter to police and I also uh, involved the minister in charge of youth and children, I heard so many voices from my own district in Butaleja criticizing me. So there is also pro a problem of politicizing crimes here in Butaleja. So that when a member of parliament comes in, or a, the chairman of C5, or a councillor, they start telling you, you'll see, we are coming to 2021, you'll see what we shall do. <laughs> so, the parents should also help us to help them. Yeah. If you want these issues to be settled, the parents should leave us political leaders to work. We must do our work. Okay. And now this matter is settled, the girl is going back to school, the child is being taken care of. I want men to accept that once you've committed a crime, you go to court and, you know, be sent to Molukatipe. What is wrong with that? Yes. Hey, they should discipline you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think there is nobody who should be above the law. So, when, when the honorable member wants to help you, again, you want to become paid her. What is wrong with you, honorable members of Uptelija District? Thank you, honorable speaker. <coughs> the house at, at large. I am Namuima Florence Justin. I happen to be a head teacher of one of the schools in Butaleja district, yes. where all these problems originate from. The major issue that I have seen in my school is that the law is becoming weak. We get these culprits, we take them to the police, and before you know it, the man is moving, scorn free in the community, while the girl who was raped is rotting, maybe in the hospital. The parents have also, maybe I can call it irresponsibility of the parents. Now, the parents are also bribed by these people who, 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 who. The perpetrators. Exactly. They are given money to drop the cases. To drop the cases while the children are not helped at all. A case in the point is one of the girls who was who was being used by an uncle at home. We only found out that the girl was walking in a funny way. She was a P4 <coughs> child, walking in a funny way. When the senior woman teacher followed her up, she she brought her to office and we interviewed her and she told us that the uncle uses her on a daily basis. Can you imagine P4? And when this thing came up to us, we went and talked to the, to the parents and the parents told us, but how can you arrest him? He's just my brother. I cannot do that. The clan will look badly at me. You can imagine such things. They are happening in our communities. Our children are really rotting. But the parents are bribed, they are side sidelined, they cannot report certain culprits to the police. So and bad, so bad. Parents, please, be responsible. We need these children in school. Why should you negotiate with the perpetuator? Somebody who has raped your child, pregnanted them, they have really cut uh, the future short, and you want the money to go for orange. I'm told you get this money to go for drinking, isn't it? Mm. Okay, you have the opportunity. Thank you. I'll give you another opportunity, ma'am. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. 
Honorable members of the House, I will appreciate whoever was behind the arrangement for selecting the right people. In any case, Honorable Speaker, you have chosen the would be victims. I have observed and proved that we, the leaders, to a large extent, we are failing ourselves. Believe me or not, any mature human being in here who has, who has attained the age of 18 and above has ever been invited for any marriage function, including our religious leaders. Few of them may bother to, to know the age of the person they are marrying off. These marriages are held at our neighborhoods, even in our homes. But as long as we continue saying we are the same people, and as long as you wish to please everybody, we shall keep lamenting. Can we now change and accept it to be bad to one person or a few, or a few and defend others. You're right. Thank you. Two. Oh. Secondly. Wind up when I remember. Secondly, Madam Speaker, where I come from, people have dropped the culture of collective responsibility over children. When you see a neighbor's child moving in a zigzag manner, that may cause a problem tomorrow. <laughs> you think you are not concerned. But the same child is your best friend, is a best friend to your children. Mm. Tomorrow or the other day, you may fall a victim after he or she has convinced your child to mm. join the class. Okay. Thank you. So we should take responsibility as parents. Yes, Honorable Thank Nobuo. You. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. Um, I'm particularly concerned because, and I, I want to thank, to thank the speaker that the, the um, honorable has just finished here. The leadership, we have a department of community development. We have a department of social welfare, social development. They are quiet. Where are they in this whole puzzle? Where is the district community development office? What are they doing about these issues? They are there keeping quiet. <laughs> Where are they? You are one of them? You are one of them? You are one of them? What are you doing? Come, come forward. So we are lamenting, we are lamenting when you implement as are here keeping quiet. Yes, Honorable. Thank you very much. Members, it is very harmful. Your name is first and your position. I'm Richard Shuha. Mm -hmm. I'm a senior community development officer. Mm -hmm. it what is have very, you done? It is very harmful, before I, I tell you what I've done, it is very harmful for us to begin lamenting about teenage pregnancy in this 21st century. Because the problem is here. It may not be the, the committee members first, but the problem is where is in our minds. What? The problem is here. Because <laughs> in the population of Uganda, we are saying women are more. But why do we go for children? As so the men. problem is here. The problem is here. <laughs> <laughs> So, what have we done as uh, a department? We have tried to sensitize the communities. But what we have also discovered is one, there is a problem with the introduction of concert, concert, uh, the family planning methods. And I've been interacting with them, they only fear HIV. They don't fear pregnancy. So this one is our responsibilities as families, as members of Utareja. <laughs> yes, Honorable Dombo, what are you opposed to? No, Honorable Madam, Madam, Madam Honorable Speaker. Mm. 
This is very disturbing. Mm. This is the custodian mm. of social development. Yes. And he's talking like he's an outsider observing from the sidelines. He's even beginning to condemn the very things he's supposed to be promoting. He's saying the problem is here. He's here or I, who's here? I, I, here in the head. I think who's he he here? himself. I, because I, 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 I did not say... No, Madam Speaker, I would like the honorable member to realize that he cannot divorce himself from his daily responsibilities. He should be speaking in his capacity as the person responsible, the custodian on behalf of the district. Yes. Honorable member, you're saying the problem is here. Is it for this point, including yourself? <laughs> Do you also have a problem here, yourself? Uh, <laughs> Madam Speaker, I think you should listen, and I give you my, my, my mind. I've said the problem is here. <laughs> including us who are here because it's not only my responsibility including but our the, responsibility excuse here excuse me including the chairman of the district the problem is I here I said whoever is this, in this room here <laughs> <laughs> because madam speaker yes we should be we should we should be talking about we should be talking about development Okay, order, 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 honorable members. We order. should be talking about development of the district, not about teenage pregnancy, because we can do away without this problem. So, we should stop talking about teenage pregnancy. Because we can handle. And we why are we handle. failing to handle? Why we are failing to handle? Mm. People have spoken it here mm. that one, our responsibilities in our homes. One number was okay, Honor, about... I will give you another opportunity. <laughs> this is very, very controversial. I will give you another opportunity. He's a district development officer, <laughs> community development officer, senior community development officer, and he's saying the problem is here. Of all of us seated in this hall. <laughs> because of time constraints, we cannot continue with this program, but because of the importance of this program, I think we shall extend it to next Saturday when we shall expand and talk uh, more about teenager pregnancies in Buteleja district. I am your speaker, Agnes Nandotu, and I aspire to inspire you before I expire. With powers conferred upon me as a speaker of People's Parliament, I adjourn this house until next Saturday when we shall expand more on the topic. The views expressed on this show do not represent those of NTV or its 